let's get on to the next motorcycle that we're cranking up. So one of the newer machines here is this 1912 Harley Davidson. Uh, very, very special bike. Uh, now the earliest Harley here, now keep in mind, there's 34, now there's 35 brands of bikes inside the museum. So you see a lot of Harleys, you see a lot of Indians, and that's fitting because they've kind of dominated the American motorcycle scene. But in total all around, there's 34 different bikes. There's one of a kinds, there's prototypes, serial number ones, factory racers, huge amount of stuff in original condition, which is one of the exhibits that we stand in right now, uh, is the original condition Harley Davidson uh, exhibit. So earliest Harley here is a 1909. It's back in the exhibit over that way, uh, in the Dale exhibit. And uh, after that, we've got a 10 and an 11 right on the other side of these red walls. All three of those are restored bikes. What we're standing amongst right now uh, are original condition motorcycles dating back to 1912, original condition Harley Davidson's dating back to 1912. So uh, the 12 model X8A there, single cylinder belt drive. Uh, you get on to 1913 twin, 1914 twin, the 1915 twin, original condition stuff. This one is one of our favorites, the 16. This bike you actually drive from inside the sidecar. So when you guys are roaming, check this thing out. Look inside the hack. The handlebars come over all funky. This is what we call a double wide sidecar. Uh, it's about a one and a half times as wide as a standard sidecar. The Kickstarter, the brake, and the clutch are all inside of the hack. Never was even designed to be uh, ridden from the bike. The 17 messenger pigeon carrier. I know you guys probably heard me say it before for those of y'all who've been here. First wireless communication device uh, the pigeon carrier was. World War I messenger pigeons. 18 sidecar unit there. 19 and 20. Kind of best of their type original example. So the 12 here, this bike has been repainted but it's relatively unrestored. So every piece on this bike with the exception of one or two is original to this motorcycle and this motorcycle only. Um, 1912 was Harley Davidson's first year for a twin cylinder, excuse me, first year for their 61 cubic inch. Second year for a twin, 1911 they came out with a 49 cubic inch belt drive uh, set up and in 1912 they bumped that engine size up uh, to Harley Davidson's famous big twin at 61 inches. They ran 61s all the way through 1952. So this is the first Harley with a chain drive. It's the first Harley with a clutch. So it really is a big step towards modern motorcycling uh, altogether. Pedal start, coaster brake. So you got a bike that'll scoot down the road 55, 60 that you got to stop with a coaster brake. As you can imagine, it's, it's a handful to ride and uh, it didn't take them long to move on to the next uh, 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 steps in creating a more modern bike. Better brakes foot controls. Uh, this thing's really a handful. Uh, it's a lot of power and uh, you know kind of far exceeds the chassis and the braking. So we're gonna get this bike cranked up. I got this bike from a good friend of mine about five years ago in Decatur, Illinois. His name's Barry Gohegan. Uh, Barry's American cycle was in Decatur for years and years and uh, Barry got this bike from some farmers in Wisconsin uh, where it had been in the barn for a number of years. Actually brought it down here in I think 2011 and my dad and I got the bike running for him and always really you know lusted after the machine because it's a very rare model. Twins this early uh, just don't exist and uh, got a phone call from Barry about five years ago and had the opportunity to add this to the collection here at the museum and uh, proud to do it. It's not been run often. We've probably run this bike three or four times over those five years. Not a lot. Cranked it up uh, yesterday. And we're going to keep our fingers crossed that it fires up as good as it did yesterday. So pedal start. What we're doing is we're rolling the compression release way back uh, and you're just pedaling that thing over. Uh, pedals tra uh, transfer to the rear wheel. Rear wheel runs the drive line. When the clutch is engaged, that drive line spins the engine over. So you get the flywheels, build up some inertia and drop the compression release and it ought to fire right up. It should fire right up. So. Come on. There we are.
it down depending on your riding. So there you have it, guys. <laughs> so that's 111 years old this year.